What is up, fellow nerds, and welcome back to the Dapper Snapper Gaming Channel, and welcome back to Wi-Fi Wednesday. That's right, another week, another team, another battle, and hopefully another win. Now, this week, we've got a really, really fun team to look at. Um, uh, it's, it's featuring a mon that I haven't gotten to use in a very... Well, I actually haven't used this mon at all. I haven't used this mon at all, and I, I'm, I'm behind. I get it. But it's Reggie Drago. This thing got released with the release of Crown Tundra. It's a new boy, and I have not gotten to try him out yet. And honestly, I'm excited. I think it's got a lot of potential. Um, obviously, it struggles in the same ways that Reggie Alecki does. Reggie Alecki struggles with ground types. This thing struggles with fairies. Obviously, these are two very common offensive typings right now. And so it's it's it, it can be difficult to sweep at times, but if you take out the right checks, it can go nuts. So we also have sticky webs on this set. So that way we can slow down everything. Reggie Drago is just a little slow. Um, we've also got a specially defensive Excadrill and offensive Nido King, physically defensive Slowbro and Scarf Victini. So if you wanna try this team out for yourself, of course, it'll be in a pokey paste down in the description below. And always, as always, make sure to leave a like on the video and subscribe if you haven't already. We are on the road to 200 subscribers and we are very, very close. I believe we are only like eight away. I think we're very close. Speaking of uh, very powerful Pokemon, this team, wow, this team is um, kind of ridiculous. So we've got three Ubers, a Regieleki, the fastest thing alive, and a Zygarde plus Porygon Z. This is like obnoxious. This is an obnoxiously strong and bulky team. Now, Groudon honestly is not really that big of a deal. To be to be honest, like Groudon's not that big of a deal. And Zygarde only is a big deal if it carries extreme speed. So we're gonna be looking for that. If it carries extreme speed, it's not great but nothing else on the squad carries any kind of priority, so that's good. Um, as far as to Ice Rider, I don't know how much we do to an Ice Rider. Um, okay, with any bulk, we do not KO. Um, and probably same thing with Lugia. Um, we're definitely gonna... Well, do we need webs? Yeah, we need webs for Regieleki. Uh, I'm gonna lead Excadrill. Um, we do have two ground types, so Regieleki really is not gonna be that big of a threat to us like, at all. So I'm not worried about Reggie Lecky. Um, Porygon Z can be very scary though, and so can Lugia. Lugia just never dies. Um, yeah, Dragon Energy does like nothing to a Lugia. Wow, it does nothing. So we're gonna have to somehow do a lot of damage to that. Um, so this is gonna be a tough one. The, the team's super, super bulky. Man, I wish I had led Araquanid. I wish I had led Araquanid. That would have been super good, actually. I, I know it would have taken an Aeroblast, but then this would have also eaten a Toxic, which would have been fantastic. Now, these things don't normally carry any kind of water-type coverage, so I think I just want to go ahead and step set rocks. I don't think this is Whirlpool. What is happening? We've got Whirlpool Lugia, so I can't switch. Is this how we lose our Excadrill? This, okay, okay. Whirl, what, what is, what is this? Oh boy. All right, well, we click Iron Head, I guess. Not that we can flinch it or anything, because it's faster than us. Um, uh, I, I honestly don't know what to do. <laughs> I honestly don't know what to do with this. I've never, I, I don't face these things. T-Wave, you can't do that. Okay. So this, it can't T-Wave or Toxic me, which is great, right? That's what makes this thing super nice. But all this residual damage is not the best. Although we did just do a quarter to it, which seems, oh, I'm, he missed blunder policy. What is this set? What? What? Oh my gosh. 
Okay, so this thing is got some defense, but not much. It, well, actually quite a bit, I would say. It's, it's got a decent amount. What in the world? Blunder policy, Whirlpool, Thunder Wave, Lugia. What is happening? But it hasn't gone for Roost yet. Does it have it? Does it have Roost? That is the question. It's going to take me, like, so many rapid spins to get to where I outspeed this, so it's really not worth it. <sighs> what is this? The... Oh, it has Recover. Oh. Whirlpool, Recover, Thunder Wave, something. What is this? This is terrible. Oh, I'm free. Great. I'm going Araquanid. I mean, the last move could be Aeroblast. But honestly, I think that's fine. Because Araquanid doesn't care about... It doesn't care about being Thunder Waved. It doesn't care about getting hit with Whirlpool. That's doing nothing. And we can just Toxic the Lugia. What is this? Oh, he switched too. Into what? Groudon. Okay. Huh. Interesting. This, this battle is already such a what is happening moment. Like, this is... I have no clue what is going on right now. Do you have removal on your team? Um, I don't think Lugia has Defog. And Reggie Lucky gets Rapid Spin, but like, does it carry it? Probably not. I'm just gonna click it. I'm just gonna click Sticky Web. Okay, it just goes for rocks, that's fine. That's fine. I don't mind that. Boop. Yeah, I don't think that's that big of a deal. I could go ahead and spread Toxic on that, but I also am going to need this for... Yeah, I'm going to need this to deal with Lugia. <laughs> and so I'm going to save this for later. Yeah, I'm definitely going to need it for Lugia, because otherwise we're going to... We're in trouble. T-Wave. Okay, so he's just trying to slow everything on my team down. He's very much on the paralysis. Are you trying to get everything slower than Ice Rider? Because, I mean, Reggie Lucky's already stupid fast, right? So I don't really care about that. Uh, I'm clicking Future Sight here. I don't think this stays in. Yeah, it doesn't. And what do you go out into, Reggie Lucky? Makes sense. But this is a free Rapid Spin. Yeah, this is a free Rapid Spin for us. That was also risky in case I clicked Scald. Yeah, I just go Drill here. Yeah, I don't stay in any day of the week on that. And so we find out if this thing has Rapid Spin, because if it has it, it goes for it here. Nope, just clicks Thunder Cage. So this is a free Rapid Spin for us. No problem at all, because you have to switch, and you don't have a Ghost. I, I don't think you have a Ghost. So this should be fine, I think. Uh, yeah, no immunities. So we just spin. Yeah, I have two ground types. So, like I said, this thing is not a problem. I I'm not concerned about Reggie like you one bit. All right, goes back into Groudon. That's fine. You're going to take, like, the tiniest bit of chip. How much does Groudon take from this? Not much. Not very much at all. Not very much at all. Look at that damage. Let's go. Uh, still not in Earthquake range. Still not in Earthquake range. If it's got any kind of HP investment, and I don't want to take that risk. Uh, go back into Slowbro, that way you're not thunderwaving random things. 
You know, you can set rocks back up, but I don't care. Like, because I can switch into Excadrill freely on several things. Eruption. Okay, that shouldn't do much, though, because we're bulky and it's... That was a crit, too. Wow, that's laughable damage. Um, it, it's just because it's so low on HP, so I'm not too concerned about it. Uh, I guess we just click Teleport here. I don't think this actually stays in and goes for Precipice Blades. That shouldn't do that much. Actually, that does a lot more. Interesting. I'd still rather this take it than anything else. And we've gotten it pretty low. So we could go into Nido King here. Yeah, this thing's at minus one. So we should outspeed it guaranteed no matter what. And so this is a free KO, I think. Ice Beam, yeah, free Ice Beam. Even if you want to switch into something else, that's totally fine. All right, cool, so Groudon's gone. We take those. Could have also gone Reggie Drago, but I don't I don't necessarily want to do that just yet. So this also keeps Reggie Lecky from coming in, not that we really care. But if it has Rapid Spin, again, that could be an issue. I'm still waiting for it to have Rapid Spin. But I highly doubt that it does because it's not Heavy Duty Boots. It's most likely Specs. At least, that's my guess. But it's a lot of trapping and just wearing people down. It's basically a stall team, essentially. Man, if I had Flamethrower right here... If I had Flamethrower... And you take so much... Oh no, it got slower. And that doesn't matter. So do you just go straight for the Glacial Lance, I guess? I'm going straight into... Straight into slow, bro. This thing could have spe could have seed bomb though. Look at that. This animation's so good. Wow, that does zero. That does so little. All right, so no more sun, which is fine. Um, we're faster than this, which is weird to say. Do we go for the burn with scald, or do we switch out? to preserve. I kind of want to see if this thing has Seed Bomb because it's very possible that it carries it. Um, but I also, like, I would have to go into Araquanid. But that's fine. We have webs up and he has no way to get rid of it. I'm also concerned about Trick Room. I'm going to go Araquanid. Araquanid's fully physically defensive. It'll take a Seed Bomb if it needs to. Do we see Trick Room? Leech Seed. Okay. That's not as bad. We can set Toxic on this. And that should be good. Um, and then we'll switch out again. We just want to keep the Leech Seed off, but we don't want this thing to be able to stay in for forever. And also Leech Life is a thing. So, yeah, I, this, I, I need to put this thing on a timer. It's definitely a necessity. Iron defense. What? What are these sets? Iron defense, leech seed, Calyrex ice rider. Wow. Yeah, the toxic is rather unfortunate for my opponent then. Although you're getting a lot of health back from me. Uh, I gotta switch. Uh, we'll go back into Slowbro here. Yeah, Iron Defense is not great. Um, <laughs> Iron Defense is not great at all. But outside of Leech Seed, this thing doesn't have any kind of recovery. And perfect, we get the we catch the Glacial Lance as it goes for it. Um, so that's totally fine. Again, we take like zero. We take a little bit, but it's not too bad. Um, we're gonna click Future Sight here. We could click Teleport, or Slack Off, actually. Future Sight just does a little bit of damage here. Um, yeah, click Leech Seed, that's fine. We just basically want to make sure that this thing can't stay in for forever, and we get paralyzed, so it didn't matter. Didn't matter what we clicked there, because this thing gets health back anyway. Okay, so yeah, we're... I mean, the poison's gonna start racking up way more than what the Leech Seed helps 
So ultimately it's fine. I'm gonna click slack off here. I need to keep this thing healthy because otherwise this thing can kind of go crazy, with, especially with an iron defense. I mean, we have Nido King in the back. Nido King should do at least decent damage. It can do about half, maybe. But I'm assuming this thing's fully specially defensive, or at least has some kind of special defense. If it's boosting its, if it's boosting its uh, physical defense like this, but it's healing a lot of health. For it to be healing that much health, though, it seems like it doesn't have any kind of, it doesn't have much investment, right? Because it would be healing a certain amount of HP. Let's click Scald and see how much this does. Start counteracting this thing's recovery. <laughs> Excuse me? Excuse me? Payday? Why? Why? Why do you have payday? Uh, the confusion is so real. I don't understand. I really don't understand. Like at all. Uh, I click scald again. What is happening? Payday Calyrex Ice Rider. This is a thing that exists in the world. And Reggie Lecky comes in and is going to take a big scald to the face. And probably would be taking a future sight here if I hadn't gotten paralyzed. Yeah, big damage. Oh, you also get some HP back from the, from the Leech Seed. Good for you, good for you. But I just switch out here. Uh, this is just free leftovers for Excadrill. No issue at all. Look at all this stall, man. This stall is ridiculous. The thing is, we don't outspeed a Regilecki um, with our Regidrago, even at minus one. It's still too fast. At least if it's max speed. But I don't have any way to really test it. And I don't really want to test it. So... Yeah. Um, what comes in here? Lugia again? Maybe. I'm just going to click Earthquake in case he sacks it. Let's me have it. Perfect. So this was the only thing that was going to be faster. But we've got to be careful about... We've got to be careful about Zygarde having extreme speed. That's the only thing I'm concerned about now. Otherwise, we're set up for Rage Drago. Otherwise, we're pretty much set up. Um, Calyrex Ice Rider. Let's say it's max HP. It still doesn't have enough HP to take it. Yeah, it would have to be like max max. Alright, so we got Shiny Zygarde. I like that. I like that. Um, so for this, we, I mean, we can go slow bro pretty safely. I, I need to see if it has extreme speed. That, that's the big thing. If it has extreme speed, then we are not safe. If it doesn't, then we are. Lands Wrath. Okay, I mean, that's gonna do a, an okay amount, but not really. I'm gonna click Scald, because I would love to have this thing burned. That would, that would definitely make my day. Core Enforcer, uh, I also don't really care about that. It's an awesome animation that does a lot of damage. But we're gonna get a Scald off here. Good damage. No burn. We go Drill here, because he just keeps going for Dragon moves on the special side. And Regenerator is a thing. So I need some health back on, on my Slowbro. Watch him go for... Watch him go for something else now. Corn Forcer again? That's fine. We can take that pretty easily, I would think. Yeah, very easily, actually. Okay. So how... The, with it having those moves, does it have extreme speed? I don't know. And Lugia is still a thing. Lugia is still a thing. Hmm. I'm just going to click EQ here. See what it wants to do. 
If he takes the extra drill, he takes the extra drill. I don't really need it anymore. Yeah, I, I really don't need this. And I'm gonna risk it. I, I'm gonna say that he doesn't have it. I'm, I'm gonna say he doesn't have extreme speed. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh no. We messed up. We messed up bad. Oh no. Oh no. Um. Uh. Um. We're gonna try it then. We're going Reggie Drago here. Oh boy. Oh boy. We're clicking that dragon energy here. Does it have e-speed? It looks so tiny in this game. It doesn't. If it does, it didn't click it. So this thing shouldn't survive this. Yeah, even with the massive HP, it doesn't survive. So that's gone. Perfect. Totally good with that. Love it. All right. So what do you go into now? Lugia, probably. Lugia is a big problem. It just lives for days. It lives for days. Come on, make your switch. Again, we're out here beating stall. Why do people bring this stall out here? I, I hate it. I hate it. I know that it's good on Wi-Fi because you just you just live forever, but actually it goes into this. Uh that's a free KO. Yeah, that's a that's a free KO, actually. Oof. Oh my gosh, these animations take so long. Let me take this KO, please. Like, I still have five months. You're not gonna stall me out. And even if you Dynamax, I'm still KOing. Perfect, get out of here. All right, all right, all right. That's two Ubers down. Two Ubers back to back being taken down by this. The only thing we can't take out is Lugia. So why have you not brought, brought that out? I mean, we have an entire rest of our team to deal with Lugia, especially if it's Whirlpool sh shenanigans. What in the world is that? All right, what what do you what do you bring in here? These stall games are rough, man. These stall games are so rough. Porygon Z. Okay. Well, we're gonna take every KO except for Lugia, and then. When Lugia comes in... Okay, so I want to go ahead and... Oh my gosh, this animation. Come on. I want to kill... I want to I want to take this out. I want to take this out. Click your move. Thank you. Yes! Reggie Drago just taking all the KOs. Let's go! Alright, so let's... let's Theory craft because again, 20 minute timer is the worst. Made a video about it. You can watch it up in the iCard above. It's such a bad thing. Actually, we KO from that range. Yeah, actually, we KO from that range. So we we would have just swept right there. So yeah, there you go. There is your Ragey Drago sweep. We would have swept there if we just had literally two more minutes. That's all we needed. <sighs> Come on, game freak. And I need more than two. I need more than 20 minutes. I really do. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this Wi-Fi battle that got cut off at the very last second. But it was still a really cool game. Um, Whirlpool on Lugia. Very interesting. Very very interesting. And then the Leech Seed Iron Defensing Reggie Drog or uh, Calyrex Ice Rider. That was pretty, pretty cool tech, I have to say, because that thing's very bulky. So, I mean, that's a pretty cool tech, I have to say. Um, but Reggie Drago was just too much. It was just too much for that team to handle. So, I will absolutely take it. Taking down Ubers, again, like we always do. So, again, make sure to leave a like on the video if you haven't already, and subscribe if you are new. We're only eight subscribers away from 200. That's all we need. And then we've met our goal. So, please, help me to reach that goal. Help me to get there. You guys are awesome as always. Thank you for watching and I hope you have a great week. This Friday, we're gonna have an absolutely awesome video for you. One of the funniest Wi-Fi battles I've played in a long time. 
I'm going to be showing that off for you Friday. So make sure you stick around for that. It's going to be really great. So until then, I hope you stay safe out there. We'll see you later. Bye-bye.